All right. <laughs> I can't deal with this. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Jumping Ship. Jumping Ship is a 2001 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Michael Lang, cinematography by David Burr, editing by Benjamin D. Stokes and Terry Stokes, music by Phil Marshall, and it's written by Chad Hayes and Carrie W. Hayes. I covered everybody except Michael and Benjamin in previous videos. They'll be listed and linked in the description. Michael Lang is best known for Eddie's, Northern Exposure, Greek, and The X-Files. Benjamin D. Stokes is best known for The Mighty Ducks, The Flash, Revenge, and From the Earth to the Moon. The film stars Joey Lawrence, Matthew Lawrence, and Andrew Lawrence. Joey plays Michael, Matthew plays Jake, and Andrew plays Tommy, and I've covered all of them in previous videos. They'll be listed in the description. Okay, first and foremost, this is a sequel to Horse Sense, which I had no idea. I've heard of Jumping Ship. I knew it was a movie starring the three Lawrence brothers. I had no clue that this was a sequel to Horse Sense. If you don't remember Horse Sense, Horse Sense was starring Joey and Andrew Lawrence, and it was about um, Tommy and Michael, like Tommy was excited to visit Michael in like Beverly Hills or something, and then, or LA basically, and Michael kind of ignores him the whole time and doesn't do anything that he promised he would do with him because he's a spoiled brat. And then his father like punishes him and sends him to the ranch that Tommy lives at to help. And then they like make up and um, Michael learns like, you know, the value of hard work and stuff like that. And it was really good. I enjoyed Horse Sense very much. I remember it very fondly. I remember being like, wow, oh my God, the bonding, the growth, they say the ranch. Like I remember all of that. I had no idea that <coughs> it had a sequel. One, two, that this was it. Cause I've heard of Jumping Ship. I had never heard of Horse Sense. So it's, and it, to be fair, I think people watching this movie could get away w with watching this movie, not realizing that there's a first one. Because the plots kind of have nothing to do with each other, but they do semi-reference st like stuff that happened in the first movie. So if you've seen the first movie, you'll understand those references. If you haven't seen the first movie, you wouldn't understand those, but you wouldn't realize that they're references, so it wouldn't matter. I, like, they couldn't have done a worse job <laughs> cluing you into the fact that this is a sequel to Horse Sense, because, like, the only thing, the only way you know that is either by reading that it's a sequel to Horse Sense, or by knowing that Joey and Andrew are cousins, and that they're Michael and Tommy, the same Michael and Tommy they were in Horse Sense. Crazy to me. Crazy to me, okay? I can't believe it. <laughs> like, the, okay. That aside, I have to be perfectly honest with you, I spent about 80% of this movie thursday after Matthew Lawrence, okay? So like, I liked the movie, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't as good as Horse Sense, like story-wise and heart-wise, but it did have some good heart, like the bonding between Jake, Tommy, and Michael was really sweet. Um, but I spent, mm, like, I spent about 80% of this movie being like, good god, Matthew Lawrence, why are you that beautiful? I can't handle that. Um. But technically speaking, this movie had a lot of focus issues and I'm assuming that's because they were trying to like give the actors some freedom and let them move around a little bit and the focus tracker was having a really hard time following them because there's quite a few shots that are very soft focus and it's very frustrating while watching um, because I, I take screenshots so I'd be like, I don't know if this is like a good enough shot of the actor for when I say who it is and everything because it's blurry and it's not my fault it's blurry I'm watching it on Disney plus and it's higher quality like ugh. this film does have a parent death it is not Tommy's dad because Tommy's dad was counted in horse sense that was a huge point of the plot in the first one so I'm not counting Tommy's dad again obviously even though it was said on screen multiple times Matthew's character Jake's dad has passed and they say so in the film and it's actually like a very touching moment when um, Jake like reveals that his dad is actually dead and not just gone. Um, so there is one parent death. Um, and then I think the boys did a really good job. Obviously they're brothers and they had very good chemistry and it was fun to see them like all acting together. And I, I had fun thinking about like how fun set co 
could have possibly been. Like, obviously, maybe some family don't work well together, but I know Joey, Matthew, and Andrew have, like, gone on to do movies together multiple times, so I think they like working together, and I, I would assume it's probably really fun. And especially, like, at this time where it was, like, they are all kind of, like, I feel like at this time they were all kind of peak. Like, I think Matthew's, like, boy meets worlding around this time, and Joey's in his successful, you know, and Andrew's coming into it, so... Um, I also very much prefer Andrew and this, like to as Tommy than I do as whoever he was in the other me. I think he does a much better job in Horse Sense and in this than he did in the other me. 100,000% better. Like, just better. So I think the acting was really good in this film. Um, I think the whole plot of it, like, being pirates after Michael is really stupid. I think they could have done something a lot better than that. And I think that's why... It's not as good as Horse Sense, because Horse Sense was really, like, about the heart of that story. Like, they had to save the ranch, and, like, Michael's learning a lot of stuff, and, like, Tommy's healing from the loss of his dad. Like, that movie had a lot of substance character-wise, and this movie is really, like, we're running away from pirates, but also bonding with Jake. And while I wanted the bonding with Jake, I know we needed, like, an external force, but the fact that I was, like, pirate? Like, that was stupid. Um, but otherwise, the acting was really good. Cinematography, not great because of all the focus problems. However, the underwater sh shots were awesome. That was great. That's everything I have for Jumping Ship. Um, again, I enjoyed it. Kind of, sort of want to watch it again. But that could totally be because I want to watch <laughs> Matthew Lawrence. Because homeboy look good. My final rating is five ships out of ten. Our total movie count is... Our parent death toll is. <laughs> Cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with a movie and watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out movie and watching when. I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Join Patreon. If you haven't heard already, I changed the prices of the tiers. They're all cheaper, except the $1 tier. Sorry. I can't make that cheaper, but they're all cheaper. So go take a look. There might be a tier you want to join now. There might be a tier you want to upgrade to if you are subscribed currently. Um, buy merch. I really love merch very much, guys. The hoodies are so comfortable. The t-shirts are so soft. Go buy merch, guys. Go buy merch, okay? Okay. Until next time, come like, subscribe, and I'm gonna try to real life. You are so you do, and don't be the pirates about it. Matthew Lawrence. You have no right.